How's it going everyone? I'm making this video here. Uh, it's just going to be a quick video. I, I wanted to show you that sometimes you just, you, you try. What I've got here is, a, I think it's a, like a 2000 um, four-stroke Yamaha. And there's the carburetor off of it. I have an ultrasonic cleaner and I've run that through that ultrasonic cleaner at least four times. In that ultrasonic cleaner all I have is, is hot water and soap basically. Um, I like Simple Green, you can use Purple Power, whatever Castrol Super Clean, whatever you like. Some people use Pine Soil. Um, but I've run it through that at least four times. I've taken my carburetor tools and cleaned out the little orifices and jets. I've taken this thing as, as far down as you can take a carburetor. And I've cleaned it over and over and I still couldn't get this 15 Yamaha four stroke to idle no matter what without the choke being half on. So that tells me that uh, it's definitely a, a passage jet problem in there. Um, mostly up here in the transition chamber where the idle jet and, and so forth is, but I've, I've cleaned it over and over. I've taken out the, uh, the uh, fuel accelerator here on the side. Um, I've just done everything, um, like four times. And so sometimes you just can't win. So on this, this motor, I put a new carburetor, brand new, um, which, of course, you try and do everything you can for the customers to save them money. So, um, sometimes you just have to you have to buy new parts. I. I I looked at the price of kits for this thing, and then I looked at the price of a new carburetor, and being that the, the problem could be in the passages in that thing, because it was pretty salty, um, I decided to go with a new carb on this one, uh, just because I've had no luck cleaning it. Um, I would think if it was a kit issue and I could just replace the diaphragm in there or the gaskets, I would have seen some performance and improvement. I didn't see any, so I just went ahead and bought a new car. And the uh, motor runs fantastic now. So, the point of the video is sometimes you, you just can't get by. Um, so, I put a brand new carb on there. And uh, the little motor runs fantastic. So the point is, sometimes you have to spend the money. I mean, I tried everything I could on it, um, and sometimes you just have to break down and uh, go the new parts route. Like I said, on this one, I tried everything I know to clean it. Uh, high pressure air, uh, little picks, tools. I soaked it overnight. Um, 
and then I ran it through the, the heat and the, uh, the ultrasonic cleaner at least four times. It made no difference in that unit. So I'm guessing it's, it's just a passage clog. And despite tearing that thing all the way down as far as you can possibly get, I took out the in screens, I took out the welds plugs, I took out everything, and I could not get that carburetor to idle. So sometimes you just get to that point to where the hours you're spending on an engine versus buying a part new, it might save the customer money in the long run by just buying it new. And in this case, the, the carburetor I think was $247 plus shipping. Um, and uh, now the little motor runs good. Thanks for watching.